Yo, what is going on guys? I'm here with another video. As you can tell by this beautiful background, I am on the map. Stronghold. We're going to do a little tips and tricks on this map, kind of like how I did my fringe video a couple days ago. But starting off, I'm going to show you guys a little movement trick that uh, a lot of people don't know about yet. I myself from watching some pro streams, uh, I watch it from Parasite. Uh, him and a couple other people know about this. After this weekend's tournament, which is the Invitational Land to get into the League Qualifiers, I think everybody's going to know about it, but what is that? It's like a penis building going out of it. So anyways, let's get into it. So right off the rip, instead of like sliding, doing a double jump, you know, you're not getting really fast, especially if you're going up this hill. What you're going to want to do is this. See that right there? See how much ground I just covered in one little movement? So what you're going to want to do is to start off, you're just going to want to jump. You're just going to want to jump, not double jump so it takes up any of your meter, just like a regular, like if you're going to jump up on a car. So as soon as you jump, you're going to want to hold your B, B button or B paddle, whatever you're using. It's going to be a lot easier with something that has paddle from the back, like a scuff or a cinch. So you got to jump, hold, and then just like that. Now I'm still pretty new to this. This is my first day trying it. So see how I messed up like that? It's going to be pretty frustrating at first. You're probably going to get something like this, where it just kind of stalls out right away. But once you get it down like that, you can get places a lot faster, especially off rip and stuff. So... It will take time, I guarantee you within the next couple weeks, people will start exploiting that more, doing it more consistently if you work at it. So this video is mainly going to be about 1v1 spots, um, places where you can see the bomb, different angles and routes you can take when you get bombed down. Uh, I'm not going to go over like team strats, like 4v4 and stuff like that, because obviously I don't have a team on with me, it's just me by myself, so I'm going to show you some spots if you're playing singles or if you just get a 1v1 situation that uh, can help you out. So the first one is over here at A bomb, you're going to want to plant right here in the middle of the bomb. While you're here, you have this angle from this doorway. You get bombed down, you can take any route you want. I like going up here, up to the kitchen, making sure he's not upstairs. Wall run, check rocks, make sure he's not there. And then you can peek bomb right out here. An issue that I have so far is if he's not on bomb right away and I have no clue where he is, it's like I'm kind of exposed. So I usually will sit right here, kind of in a random corner, check every once in a while, or just chill in a corner right here. You can also hide upstairs in the bedroom. It only takes about 3 seconds to get down here, shoot them off bomb, but uh, that's the first spot on A bomb. Another thing when you're on offense and you want to go to A bomb site, if you push out right away and you do like a little couple skip hops and stuff, and you want to get upstairs in the window, you will beat him here 98% of the time, unless they have overdrive. If you have a sub and you run the path correctly, you can get here, so you don't have to worry about people coming up here and spraying you down. The other kind of decent spots, right here on the corner, you can either go upstairs, just camp right up here in the kitchen. So you can camp up here. If you know he's not coming from that side, you think he's going to come from rocks or something, off down here you have a nasty head glitch and you can see all of them. Alright, moving over to the B bomb side with a little campfire. Put bomb down right there. What the hell happened to it? Why is it? Okay, well. There we go, I did it. You're going to want to run all the way over here. And you got a nice little line of sight right here. Completely protected. It takes less than seven and a half seconds, I think, to get from there to there. I seriously doubt he's going to run all the way around there, come through here, and then shoot you in the butt. Or come all the way through there, come around here, and then shoot you in the butt. But if he does, you know, props to him. Another one to kind of add that last bomb side. If you plant right here on this corner, you have two lines of sight. You have that one, and you also have that one. The reason why I planted here is because it's a lot tighter. So you can literally head glitch right over that yellow barrel. If you plant it right here, see how big of that gap is open? So someone can come down here with like an M8 or something, you can just burst you off that, but... I would prefer planting here, over here, if you're going to go to that spot, but I mean, it's always open. Alright, probably last one for this video, because Stronghold does not have a lot of great bomb planting site things. You're going to want to plant it on anywhere really on this side of the map, on this side of the bomb, I mean. Plant it right here on this side of the bomb, wherever your little art desires. Right here, get on this rock, make sure he's not there, make sure he's not there, make sure he's not coming to kill you. And you can double jump and see bomb. I would prefer having an assault rifle in this position. See he's not on bomb. You know, hop off five seconds, make sure he's not coming there, make sure he's not coming there. Five seconds there, jump back up. Oh he's on bomb. Jump over here. Boop boop. He's dead. You win that dollar, two dollar, fifty, five dollar wager, a hundred thousand dollar wager, it doesn't matter. Did I really hit the bomb twice? Anyways, thank you guys. Whoops. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy it, and I'll make more of these.
I'll see you guys in the next